In this video, we'll look at whether lead 2 nitrate, PBNO32, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that the compound overall is an ionic compound. But if we look at the bond between the nitrogen and oxygen, these bonds right here, because we have a nonmetal plus a nonmetal, these are going to be covalent. But overall, it's an ionic compound. That's because when we look at lead here, lead, that's a metal, and then nitrogen and oxygen, those are nonmetals. So we have a metal plus nonmetals. When we have a metal plus nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. And because this is an ionic compound, we should look at the charges between the ions. So when you look at lead on the periodic table, you really can't tell its charge just looking at it. We do know that the nitrate ion, this entire ion here, it's always one minus. We just write a minus up there. Because we have two of these, that gives us two minus. So the lead has to have an ionic charge of 2 plus. That's why we call this lead 2 nitrate. Now we have the lead 2 ion, this positive ion here, and these two nitrate ions, which are negative. Opposite charges attract, and that's what forms the ionic bond in PbNO3 2. Let's talk about the nitrate ion just for a moment. So for the nitrate ion, we said nitrogen, that is a nonmetal. And then oxygen, that was also a nonmetal. When we have a nonmetal plus a nonmetal, we have a covalent compound. This is also called a molecular compound. So the bond between the nitrogen and the oxygen atoms, these bonds here, they'll be covalent. But overall, because we have the lead 2 ion, which is positive, then the negative nitrate ion, two of those, we have that positive and negative that are attracted to form the ionic bond for PBNO32. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.